starting now. Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. Uh, I have one of the, if not the most cheapest and actual usable two axis motorized camera sliders on the market right now. This is from, uh, I got this on Amazon. I have a link down below. It's the GVM, which stands for Great Video Maker. And uh, I, I first heard about this brand when they actually had a uh, sale on studio lights, of which I'm using one right now. It's actually a pretty awesome light, really great, super cheap. I mean, there's nothing out there that has this design about it. So pretty innovative, uh, had really great feelings about it, still continue to do, uh, still continue to have great feelings about this light. So when I saw this, I thought, wow, can they really achieve this? This is $599.99 retail. Um, and you know, it, it ships via Amazon prime and that also includes free returns. So if after seeing this, you decide you want to try it out, please use my link down below. Now, here's what I will say about this straight off the cuff. If you are a professional filmmaker and, uh, you need to get that shot, this is not going to do it for you. Okay. Um, for filmmaking, no, I'd probably give this a pass. I mean, at six hundred dollars, you're probably laughing because you're you're thinking, well, gee, uh, you know, my my tripod, my rental of a uh, a two axis or three axis slider is going to be uh, six hundred dollars for the whole shoot. How how could this possibly do it? And and you're and you're right. Okay, now. The great news is, is that it works. It does have the two axis. Um, there's relatively smooth movement in terms of the sliding. GVM has a lot of different other sliders uh, available on the market right now, and some of them with really great reviews. Uh, now, I've never tried one of those before. I'm pretty happy with the slider that I have right now. I just wanted to get something two axis. Okay, so here it is. They actually have a three axis version that looks almost exactly like this, except the difference is there's a head that comes out here that allows you to, to uh, pan and tilt, uh, sorry, tilt. And then you got the panning and then you, you got you got the, the sliding. Okay, so all this. So this one basically slides back and forth. This, this little head can rotate left to right, which allows you to do uh, some pretty cool shots. Okay, so we'll, we'll take a look at some examples of that. Um, right here, my wife is, is making um, N95 equivalent masks. Uh, at home in a workshop. So those are some of the demonstration footage that I'm going to show you here. All right. So uh, what's wrong with it? Well, the biggest thing is that um, it it is loud and not loud in, in the traditional sense. You know, if you look at the description um, on Amazon, it says it has silent or did used to say it had silent motors. And that is absolutely not true. This actually has a really high frequency um, pitch and sound that is very annoying for uh, if you're doing a close-up shot or some sort of interview and you plan on having this rotate back and forth using the pan tilt uh, feature depending on if you have the 2d or 3d it's it's got a high pitch not great okay so you can rule that out that's just not going to work unless you're going to record the audio separately or you're just shooting b-roll and you don't care for the original audio because it's just going to pick it up high frequency horrible sound okay both motors we're talking about both the sliding motors and the rotation motors high pitch now GVM uh, on their web page where I purchased it have actually updated it since I've started using this and they said they've received a lot of complaints about the noise and they suggest using an external microphone uh, the camera on built will pick up slight noise that's not true this this version that I have right here, which I presume is the exact same version that's listed right here. Um, and, and actually I have this, every single one of these have a qualified certificate. So if potentially I have a, a, an older unit. This one has a QA of uh, July, 2019 QA pass. I guess that's relatively recent. It's still, it's still loud. But they, they say that, is, well, it's because we can handle up to 22 pounds and it can do vertical sliding shots. And that is really, there's nothing else in this price range that can handle that. Okay. All right. Um, second other thing is I find these controls really annoying to have an app control, but I read in the reviews, I didn't even bother trying to app control. I, I really wanted to use the uh, use an actual handheld controller, which they include one. So this is, this is long range Bluetooth. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to turn on the unit right now. Let's, let's see. So I got to turn the unit on. Uh, it uses two batteries. Depending on your kit, it may or may not include uh, the battery, which is just the Sony F-Series batteries. And the ones that they include are labeled GVM. And, you know, they're the generic ones you can find. They include the NPF 750s, 770s, which has 4,400 milliamp hours. So they include two of those and a charger. And another thing is they include, uh, the, you know, the camera control cable. For six different, they, they include six of these. That alone, six of these, uh, if you look, I, I'm going to say, if you, if you look on, I'm not going to, if you just get the control cables, six of them, that's like $120 or 150 I don't know, maybe more dollars for the, for the control cable for some of these other third-party uh, competitive um, systems that are way more expensive. But this, this comes in via Bluetooth, and the, uh, the menu system is okay, you know, after you figure out what it means. The button pressing is pretty loud. So if you're on a set, uh, you got people around, you're waiting for all the things. It sounds it sounds and almost looks like a gaming controller. So that that's that's pretty loud as well. Ergonomics wise, it's okay. My big problem with this is that it freezes every once in a while. So um, I think on average, I've done like two or three different slides. Usually by the fourth one, I get a, a freeze and then I got to shut down the system, restart it again. Luckily, the first couple of times I did it, uh, I thought I had to keep repairing of the Bluetooth, but but not 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 lately. So I don't know what's going on there, and I don't know if there's going to be any firmware updates or any if if this is even updatable. I don't see any port in here for you to update the firmware to improve on that. So that part is, uh, you know, it's iffy. It's it's that's why I said this is not good for anywhere close to anything professional, or if you have a multi-person shoot, people are waiting for you to complete the shoot. Uh, you don't want to be that guy fussing around this cursing at the equipment. Okay, uh, rent rent that expensive gear. Okay, so um, I'm going to demonstrate the manual mode here at 100% um, speed. Oh. And I have this facing the opposite direction. So, um, you know, you, you can't actually configure which direction it is, but but basically I should be on this side pressing the buttons here. So uh, this is 50% speed and you can kind of hear it, right? It doesn't sound too bad, but then you add that sound and this frequency. So this first sound right here, you're hearing that? That's a sliding. And then you add this sound, rotation. Okay, decibel wise, it's not bad, but the problem is, is, is it's, it's a high annoying frequency that uh, I think anybody who's younger than 50 is going to hear, and it's definitely going to show up on, on the video. Okay, so where I can see where this is not bad is, you know, you have, you have SM7Bs, you're doing a podcasting thing, you have this far enough away and everybody's got their headphones on, so they're not gonna hear this sound, they're gonna hear themselves, uh, you know, that might be okay. And then you can go ahead and set this up for a loop. Okay, so that was 50% speed. I'm gonna speed this up a bit to the full on speed. And and the whole slider length is 30, 31, 32 inches, by the way. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed it. This is as fast as it'll go. And this movement is pretty smooth, okay. Now, where I have another problem is, is with the, the second axis, which is this rotation thing. See me rotating here? That's not precision at all. Okay, so if you're doing a close-up shot and you're doing, it's going to have this jerk when it's rotating one direction versus the other direction just because there's going to be that delay in this movement, this, this, this jerkiness. I want to say it's like one degrees to two degrees and... Uh, you know, the effect of that is going to be pretty annoying if you're doing a close-up type of product shot, which is what I attempted to do uh, with this. So I thought, hey, this might be great for product shot. Not so great if you have to pan one, if you have to uh, pan one direction and then uh, rotate at multiple points. All right. So that's another thing I want to talk about. You can have multiple points on here and you can program the, the different direction and the location of the slider. Um, through points A, B, C, D, I presume all the way up to Z. I haven't tried it out. The most I got up to was F as a test scenario. Now, once it goes, uh, let's just let's just say this is point A. Okay, point A, you're done. 
Okay, it takes like half a second to a second before continuing to point B, it feels like. So there's, there's a little bit of a pause and then it continues with it. So if you're rotating one direction versus the other direction, you're gonna see a, a slight little like, not only delay, but a, kind of like a, a, sh a shift suddenly when this does the rotation in the other method. So it's not, not really super smooth. Now, was I expecting it? No, I would have been really impressed if this was able to do it in this price range. So that's, that's pretty annoying. Okay, so there's two different modes. There's manual, there's auto mode. Uh, the one I was demonstrating is manual mode. And yeah, in manual mode, you can go ahead and control. You can control the direction and the rotation at the same time just using left and right over here on this side and left and right here to um, see which side this is gonna rotate on. Uh, but you can control the speed at the same time that you're doing the slide and the rotation. The rotation and the speed are all linked together. So at 1%, it's gonna not only move and rotate at 1%, it's not independently controllable and changeable in terms of the speed but at least it's linked together, right? So if I'm sliding, okay, I'm sliding at the slowest possible speed this does right now, which takes two minutes, I believe, from one side to the other side, it's gonna take full on two minutes. And uh, the 1% ro rotation speed right now, I'm turning it on right now, this is as slow as it rotates, which looks like it's going to rotate all the way around, maybe in, maybe a minute, halfway through, something like that. Anyways, they don't give you a statistic about that. And it's not adjustable anyway here. All right, that's it for this video. Hope this was useful to you. Hope this uh, helped make your decision, maybe save you some money. But if you still wanna try this out and you think, well, Mike, um, this might work for me, and it might, okay. Um, if you're doing the time-lapse where he takes the shots, takes a shot, click, take a shot, take a shot, I could see where that works out. But you will definitely wanna keep an eye on it because this thing, this thing can freeze on you. And then when you when you go ahead and set aside a whole 60 minute time lapse in here only to find that it had stopped halfway, uh, that can be really extremely annoying and frustrating. Okay, please use my link down below. You got 30 days to try it out and uh, it's completely free returns. So even if you, for any reason whatsoever, you can go ahead and return it through uh, Amazon and just make sure that you purchase it uh, shipped and sold and fulfilled Ship sold or and or fulfilled by Amazon, and it has to say that free returns on the top. Otherwise, you know you risk restocking fees and returns. That's something that I found out uh, earlier this year. All right, that's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and uh, be safe and good to one another. Thanks for watching.